Hey YouTube, it's your girl Dr. J and today I thought I would share with you guys some of the hands-on resources that I use for math. Now my kids are in the other room playing so you may hear them, they're on some sort of adventure in their mind. But I wanted to show you guys how we use some of the hands-on stuff. The first thing that I'll show you guys are a couple abacuses that we use. And one of my twins actually uses these the most, even though most of their math, the majority of their math is done online um, using EPGY, he's still a very much hands-on learner. So we will actually take this abacus, he actually likes this one better than the Montessori-based one, but he will actually take this abacus with him to the computer desk and we'll work together and he will figure out the answers. Um, he can do addition and subtraction with the abacus and we really, really love that. So that is something that we use a lot. Another thing that we use, Montessori beads. Montessori beads are wonderful because you can do so many different types of math with Montessori beads. You can do addition, subtraction, they're excellent for multiplication tables and practicing and, and visually seeing in a hands-on way your multiplication tables. So we, I am a really big fan of Montessori beads. The only downside to the beads is that they roll a lot all over the desk and I just wasn't willing to invest in uh, something to keep them more stable. Um, a couple things that I like for place value. We have these cards. These cards are great for the kids when they're learning how to talk about place value. So if, you know, if, you know, we were saying, okay, show me 130 or 133, you know, they would take out the 100 and then they would take out the 30 and then they would take out the 3. And then there you go, 133. So this is really, really good for showing place value. And I um, have been very happy with it. It goes all the way up to the thousands. So you can show 9,999. So really like those. Another thing that I really love for um, practicing place value a lot is actually this game this is they call it the the banker game there are two different banker games in Montessori this is the higher level game and basically what happens is like you would put put out the number 10 and then you would you know um, put out the number 4 and so it will be 10 is the number that you always start with the white card is the number that you start with and the gray card is the number that you are going to be multiplying by. So um, you'd have, you know, 10 times 4. And so they would start, they would say, okay, 4 times 0. Okay, that's going to be 0. So they would find their 0 card. Um, okay. And then 4 times 10. That's going to be 40. And so when they went to get their answer, their answer is always going to be colored. So the answer is going to be 40. And for higher level things, like, you know, if you were asking, like, what is, you know, 127 times 7, you know, they would just figure it out each place at a time, have it all out there, and then everything is, it's really, um, I'm not explaining it very well, but it's really a, a great little hands-on tool to use for higher number multiplication. If you're looking for, if, if when our, my kids are just learning, remember we have fine motor skills here in addition to them being hands-on learners, so these things work great. Um, this is my box. It is all a mess because I accidentally dropped it. So, but basically what happens is I will pull out a few cards. And so for somebody working in the addition box, you know, these may be the five addition problems that they need to do and then they would just find the right 
the the right answer card and I am sure I'm not going to find <laughs> a correct answer card in here anyway, but basically you get it they have you know instead of doing book work or workbooks and we do use workbooks but sometimes just to rest their hands with fine motor skills we do the boxes and the thing that is great about these boxes is that we have them for addition there is a multiplication box so again um, you have multiplication problems and then the answers are going to be in this box and, I, and another thing that I love about Montessori it's all color coded so multiplication box is yellow so all the cards in there are, are yellow the font color is yellow we have division box division is blue and then all the fonts for all the division problems and their corresponding answer cards are all blue and then the subtraction box is green and so um, no matter what they're working on um, that's all there um, another thing that I really like this is a multiplication board I also have a um, division board but I'll show you the multiplication board really fast and basically what you have is you slide in the little number so they know okay I'm multiplying by three and so three times one okay so I put three beads in there okay three times one is three so they can count the beads so they would know okay here's another three and finally here's a third three so then you would take the this little uh, marker and then so they would know okay if I said three times two they know I need to count this row and the row in front so three times two one two three four five six okay three times two is six and then if it's three times three they know count all of those and now I know I am looking at nine so it's really great and I, I love that it's great reminders because the number that you're working with your multiplier is always right here and then the numbers across the top so this again is really great hands-on and like I said I they have another board that's similar to this that we have for division and then we also have a square roots board so um, really love this set I love visual math hands-on math this I showed you guys sandpaper letters these are sandpaper numbers so just when they're learning how to um, write their numbers you can fill over the top you can write over the top somebody wrote on this one with a crayon so they got really got into it um, and then this is a multiplication board I also have addition board so you got you know 1 through 10 on across the top and side and then you would just put it put these markers on there in the correct order so you you know your you put your ones then two two four six eight ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen twenty so you put those all across so th that's again another good way to practice you know multiplication tables that's kind of fun this I love I mean I really love it this is a number line and what I will do is I will spread this number line out and it goes all the way to 20 you guys see my little duct tape on the side because I would duct tape it down in the hallway so this is a number line and I, I told you guys I really am in love with with Gardner's uh, multiple intelligences and, and, and ways different ways of learning and so this is what we do for kinesthetics so that we can really feel the math and I take my die all my little different color die and we will play this in several different ways sometimes the kids um, especially with my twins we may just do addition subtraction so they will roll the die and then okay you got a two and you got a six so if they're adding they would start on the number six and then they would hop up two 
and then they would see, okay, I'm on eight. So six plus two equals eight. Once they got better at addition, what I would do is I would say, okay, now you have to guess. What do you, what do you think the answer is? So they would say, okay, six plus two, I think that's eight. So they would go and then they would check. So they would start at the six and then walk up two. And that's how you check your answer. And also we do these with subtraction. And then um, what we also do is we have this um, where they have this die that will tell them what they have to do. So is it greater than, is it addition, subtraction, so you have to say greater than or less than, put them in the right order, you know, so they would have to be able to say, you know, okay, you know, two is less than four, I mean, less than six. So they would have to put it in the right um, equation. Um, addition, equal sign, you know, minus so, and then we have two die like that, that we use. Um, and as they get into higher and higher level math, we just change the way we use the die. So sometimes we will multiply. So we may not be using the number line, but we still will be using the die. So they would roll the die and they would have to multiply the two numbers together. I also, since I have a ton of die, because you guys know I have lots and lots of everything, um, what we also do is a game called balance equation. So especially with my oldest, you know, he may have to roll four die. And what he has to do is figure out what what functions, what mathematical functions would he have function would he have to use to make the equation balanced on each side. Or sometimes if I give him two die. So let's say he rolls a six and then he rolls a five. And I say, okay. It, and then he would roll, you know, another die, and let's say that was six. And then I would say, okay, six is going to be in the middle. So he would have to figure out what plus six equals six, and also what plus five will equal six. So he would have to figure out what two numbers would he have to have on each side of the die to make the equation balance. So those are just some ways that we do hands-on stuff. I have a, a few other type of hands-on things. Lots of people know about the cubes so we have the different you know hundred number boards this is a thousand cube tens and ones down here ones and so these are just again ways for us to not just do math on the computer not just do math in workbooks but also do math in a really hands-on way. Another reason why I really like this stuff is because a lot of people assume that Montessori is just for preschool or Montessori is just about learning how to write your numbers. But as you can see, you can do higher level math. Um, I even have a board, I didn't bring it out, but it is, and it's like, so I keep lots of things in boxes just for ease of storage. But this one, as you guys can see, it is a square root board. So we even, and I will pull it out real fast. I'm going to try not to make too much noise, but I don't think I'm going to be able to do it without too much noise. So I apologize. And yeah, you know, let's see. So we got blue beads, and again, everything is color coordinated. So we got blue beads and okay I'm gonna sit this down real quick I don't have y'all I won't have y'all looking at just completely blank, blank space sorry about this but we got blue beads we got green we got red and then we have our square root board and I'm not going to explain to you how to use it because it's a little bit more complicated than the others but the moral of the story I promise you that you can take these three boxes of beads and um, a few other tidbits of information and your child will be doing square roots in a very hands-on way so that's just showing you some of the hands-on things that we have and how we make hands-on learning, not just for the early years and the preschool years, but we have it 
all the way through our educational journey. So again, this is Dr. J at DAJ EDU. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.